<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will introduce my husband. Husband. Old man cook. Old man cook. Hello, old man cook. Come out there, please. Hello, old man cook. Please come out. Come out in the room. Where are you now? Hello, this is my husband, old man cook. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One and all. Thank you. Thank you. I am here today to present one of my fabulous dishes that I concocted 32 years ago and three months. It took me eight years to perfect this, perfect this recipe, and now I shall present it to you. Thank you. Uh, I must now get into more comfortable clothes. Yes. Do this. When you're ready to peel the onion, do it underwater like this. Then the fumes don't get in your eyes and call you to, cause you to ball profusely or any other way that you usually ball. So, uh, and then do the same thing when you're slicing it. You slice it under water. See? No fumes, no crying. Now break the onion slices up into little tiny bite-sized pieces that we're going to mix in with the meat. Take a piece like this and slice it. And then break it up into little pieces that'll mix in with the meatloaf. So there you have it. Here's your onions ready to put into the meatloaf. So now get a strainer. I don't know where our strainer baskets are, so I have to use this thing. So, I'll probably end up spilling onions all over, but I'll try it and see. Now I'll take the onions over and put them on the preparation board. Here's another thing I do. Anything that I've used that I'm not going to use again gets washed and put in the rack to dry. I don't want 150 dishes scattered all over the kitchen after I get through cooking. I clean as I go. The next thing is the preparation of the little green onions. I like to put some of these in. It adds a lot of nice flavor to the concoction. So I cut up these green onions like this and then squish them around a little so you separate the pieces like that, see? And then the pieces will come out. Cut them into smaller pieces. They are slippery. This makes a nice concoction of onions. You just cut them in little pieces like this. And then if they turn out to be too big a chunk, then you can separate them. About five of these green onions is plenty for a two pound meatloaf.
And just in case anybody's inclined to make any meatloaf risque remarks, please constrain yourself. This is a family show. Okay, like that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is start mixing the meat and the, oh, I know what I have to do first. We have to get a little bowl out. You can use that same, that same bowl I used before and get three eggs out and drop the egg white without the yolk without the yolk See how you do that? Do it one at a time. Hi, baby. The egg whites bind the meat and other ingredients into a loaf rather than just a blob of loose meat. So anyway, there's the third egg, egg white. Good idea to have napkins laying all over the whole kitchen. So wherever you are, you can grab a napkin and wipe your hands. Okay, so in the big bowl, I have a one pound slab of Italian sausage, hot Italian sausage. And I'm gonna just uh, tear it up into little shreds. Tear it into little shreds, like that. Don't have to be teeny tiny shreds because we're gonna knead it in with the hamburger. So the meatloaf will consist of one pound of Italian sausage, hot is what I prefer, and one pound of medium lean hamburger. Uh, don't get it too lean, uh, remember, the flavor is in the fat. So I purchase a medium lean. If a middle grade isn't handy, then take the fatter grade. Okay, so here's the Italian sausage. Now here's the hamburger. And this is a one pound loaf of hamburger. I'm going to do the same thing. Tear it apart. probably talk while I'm doing this. Okay, now that's in the bowl. So now, do it the whole thing together now. Now mush the whole thing together. Mush the whole thing together so that the sausage and the hamburger are evenly mixed. If there are little chunks of this or that, that's fine. That just, that just tickles the taste buds. Okay, now that you got that pretty well mooshed, now throw in the other stuff. Throw in the onions. I do not saute the onions ahead of time. I want them to bake with the meatloaf. Otherwise, you get crispy, crusty little pieces. And, and we don't want that, so mix that in. Okay, the three egg yolks go in next. Okay, time to do a little bit of cleanup here. 
the little green onions, five or six of them. They come in bundles at the store, and usually you can find a different quantity in the bundles. Finish with the scissors, so wipe, wipe the scissors off and put them away. Wipe up as you go. And now we're going to mix the onions, the eggs. Oh, 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 okay, one more thing, two more things. Got to have some garlic salt, a little bit of garlic salt. The garlic really works good with the with the hamburger. Not too much. We're trying to keep our salt uh, consumption down because we're old. And we got one foot in the grave and the other in the salt mine. Okay, uh, I'm using Newman's own tomato and basil. The base of the tomato sauce is this. Uh, I got this at Target. I have no idea how good it is. Uh, but I want to try it. Okay, so now we mush all this stuff together. And anytime now, you can start the oven. Uh, Preheat it to 450. Let me see. Bake. Start. This oven that I described in my uh, liver thing. This Frigidaire oven is an electric oven with a gas cooktop, a uh, dual fuel range. Uh, and I love it. I don't like frying foods electrically. And I don't like baking foods in carbon monoxide, which is a gas oven. So now the oven is heating up. It's not critical that it's preheated to full. Uh, you can just figure the cook time is about 45 minutes, the bake time. Okay, now, as far as I can think, I have all the ingredients, and this is what it looks like now. Isn't that pretty? Now, in a meatloaf dish, Oh, one more thing. How could I forget? The crackers that are customarily, or the meat, uh, the bread that's customarily put in the meatloaf. I use Ritz crackers instead of the plain white soda crackers. And so just break these up into little pieces. This adds some more chunks to the meatloaf, but they're soft chunks so they don't hurt your teeth. You won't need a filling entered or a root canal after this meal. So. See, so just kind of, just break it up like this, just with your two thumbs and all, all of your fingers and you get enough pieces. See? Okay, now I get this out of the way. Next thing we do, I do, and you will too, is put a little vegetable oil in the in the uh, baking dish in the meatloaf dish and run it around run it around lubricate the surface of the glass all the way around uh, with a very thin layer of oil really thin uh, if you don't do this the meatloaf will stick to the glass and then when you try to dig it out you'll end up tearing it apart. So rub that nicely. And then just, just take and get rid of some of the extra. 
you don't want IR on them all over everything. And then get rid of stuff as you go. And bring some more stuff. I have a roll of paper towels. I think the paper towels are cheaper to use than the, uh, I think the paper towels are cheaper than the, than the paper napkin. So I like to use paper towels. Okay, so now I gotta stir in these crackers. And there we are. All right, so now into the meatloaf dish. And try not to get stuff on the edges of the dish because in the heat of the oven, it burns onto the glass and it's hell to get off. There we are. Now pat it in here nicely and smooth. like that. Be sure it's nice and smooth in the dish. Alright, get this out of the way. Now, this is where some of you may part company with me. I know some of you don't care for tomatoes or tomato sauce. I understand that. However, I coat the top of the meatloaf with tomato sauce. Okay, here again, keep the edge of the dish clean or you're going to have a hell of a time after it comes out of the oven. over tomato sauce goes in the fridge which I'll do later don't need to take up camera time with that cover your concoction with tin file shiny side down. You want the heat to reflect back in to cook the meatloaf from the top down while it is sitting in the oven baking from the bottom up. Another nice thing about not preheating the oven is it doesn't blast your face off when you open the door. So into the oven goes the meatloaf. Hi everybody, I will introduce my husband now. He want to take out here meatloaf with Itali Italian sausage. We'll see if delicious or not. So he, he can Describe you, all of you. He is very interested her meatloaf. I believe may be delicious. Now, he can see. Hello, my husband. Introduce your meatloaf. Hello, old man. There you are. Zero in. I'm going to put a little more sauce on the top. It needs, it needs a little more, little more sauce on the top here. Oh, muy delicious. It's still hot out of the oven, so this sauce will 
warm up quickly. Maybe too much hot. Hot sauce. You like a nice tomato frosting mm -hmm. on the meat. Oh, yum, yum. That should do it. Yeah. Always, always clean the rim of the bottle before you put the cap back on. See, I put the cap on the dirty bottle, and now I got the cap dirty. So, anyway, okay. So. As Phil Robertson would say, this is the way we do it. <laughs> Here's the meatloaf. Potato. Done to a tea. So I'm going to try it. And potato with butter. No, we won't put butter on the meatloaf. We'll put butter on the potato. Now this is where it gets tricky. Got to find something that'll get the first slice out. There we go. One piece. Ooh. Almost. We left a little bit in there. There we are. Close drawer. Now, you'll see there's a lot of oil in that. Follow me, cookie. Follow me. And we're going to look at the meatloaf. And you Let see the see. oil there? Oh, yeah. Let now it, we're yep, pour yep, that yep. Off. We don't need that. Yep. Take out, take out a little bit. Hold your meatloaf. Not pulling. But I think that's water. Oil. Yes, it is. Yeah. Pour the juice. Okay. Put now. It, put it back here. I'll put the cover back on it. I'm going to leave it out for a minute because I might want more. Now, we have to soak our baked potato in butter. See, that's why I don't use a lot of salt in the preparation of the meat because I want to leave uh, 100 years old within a reasonable salt consumption in the potato. And I'll prepare a salad or I have some cottage cheese and tomatoes or some peaches and cottage cheese or something like that later. But right now, I'm going to dive into this meatloaf. Follow me. <laughs> you look like a monster. <laughs> well, it smells good. Your meatloaf is smells good. I can't smell it. I, I smell. I don't. Of course, I forgot the butter. Water. Right. Butter already. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I forgot. I know what it looked like, but I don't know. Your what? Wa your uh, soda, soda and oh, that too. orange juice. You can turn the camera off, but or leave it on. Leave it yes. on. Yes. We'll just take out what we need. Now only water. Now good water. Good. Yeah, so I'm gonna have some water instead of a soda. Instead of a soda. What is good? Cookie, I like that. You finish my sentences for me, and I like that. Yes. That's good. Guys, you gotta do that. If if your wife is finishing your sentences <laughs> for you, let her do it. That's because right. Because she may say something that you like better than what you would have said. That's right. Okay, what is good? Okay, now you can taste your meatloaf. Or how good, or how taste, or how... I used to keep salt and pepper on this table. I don't know what happened. 
use the paper. I guess there's so much clutter already that there's, I would never find see I would never find that in all this clutter. Just, okay, Cookie. Okay, let's now, see what this is like. This. Delicious. And I have a couple of bites before I can tell. Oh. What do you think? Yum yum? Yes, it's good. Oh, tell your friend yummy yummy. Very good, yummy yummy. Oh. So tomorrow it's going to be perfect. More yummy because cold. Yep. With potato big, big potato. I figured out the microwave thing. It's good. But this microphone, microwave, a standard size baking potato requires four minutes on high. Mmm. That's right. That's right. Okay, Cookie. Okay. We'll see y'all. I hope you enjoyed this cooking That's show. That's right. Bye-bye. Enjoy your meatloaf, okay?